It was a chaotic scene outside of the landing this afternoon where crowds were still lingering after the Martin Luther King Day Parade. And we have team coverage for you tonight. We begin with Stephen Dial, who is outside the landing with the latest on the shooting. And Stephen, when you see the front door of the landing shattered, it is jarring. It was Heather and right now JSO is questioning multiple people. They have multiple people detained and I'm going to step out of the shot right now. The police tape is down and crews are actively working to replace the shattered windows at the Jacksonville landing. Yeah, love you to hear it. Multiple, multiple gunshots. As hundreds filled Jacksonville to celebrate the Martin Luther King holiday, gunshots quickly turned downtown into a crime scene. Like people just started running towards Tim Plaza. Two teens were shot in broad daylight in front of the Jacksonville landing. A 13 year old and 16 year old. The 16 year old police say is fighting for his life. And there's people starting to shoot out the doors, the two doors that come out. They were coming out, they were scattering like roaches. Moments after the shooting, officers blocked several streets near the Jacksonville landing. Witnesses say they heard nearly 10 gunshots. Kind of why there's families and stuff just everywhere. You know, for someone to come up here and spray it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. A witness shared these images of bloody clothes and shattered glass. Children as young as 13, 14, 15 carrying firearms that their parents don't know anything about. Please, as a parent myself, monitor your kids. Make sure you know where they're going, who they're going with and who may have what with them because it's easy to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And then that investigator said that last soundbite that you heard. He's warning parents and saying that you need to make sure that you know what your kids have. He says in a lot of the recent shootings involving teenagers, they have been with stolen guns from unlocked cars. Now con to continue our team coverage, we want to bring in First Coast News Julia Janae. Julia investigators are saying this shooting could be connected to a shooting that happened earlier this year. That's right, Stephen. Officials today confirming that they believe this afternoon shooting is related to the shooting that happened during the art walk just two weeks ago and two blocks away from today's shooting. 